So guys, I was all set to upload this video, to thank Ryan Kerrigan, to talk about how that he's no longer going to be with the Washington football team. I was just putting my finishing touches on the edits, and then I get word that he is going to the Philadelphia Eagles. I was talking about how I was hoping that Ryan Kerrigan would at least go to a team where he was given an opportunity to maybe get a Super Bowl ring or at least try to get on a team that's going to get him deep into the playoffs because obviously he didn't have that opportunity. He didn't really get a chance to experience going deep into the playoffs. He, he got to go to, what, two playoff games uh, since he's been with Washington. So, you know, I was really hoping that he would at least get some of that experience. I mean, as much as I, it kind of makes me want to puke, <laughs> I, I would have rather him went to like Tampa Bay and maybe had a strong chance of, of getting a Super Bowl ring with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers than to go to like some NFC East rival team. And of course he goes to the Philadelphia Eagles. Yes, it, it's got me a little heated. It's going to be very hard for me to certainly wish him well as a Philadelphia Eagle. In fact, I can't wish him well as a Philadelphia Eagle. I just can't. I just hope that he has a rough season with them, but I don't want him to get injured by any stretch. I mean, I'm not wishing him bad luck in terms of health. I just don't want him to succeed as a Philadelphia Eagle, but I do want him to get some playing time. I mean, let's, let's be serious. Let's be adults about this. Ryan Kerrigan does definitely deserve more playing time. He still has a lot of football left in him, and I think that he can do well going to anywhere else. I just don't think that the Philadelphia Eagles are necessarily going to give him that opportunity to get into the playoffs and to have a chance to a, you know, get a Super Bowl ring. If he went to the Philadelphia Eagles for that particular reason, then I think he's going to be disappointed. I'm just going to say it now that that was probably a mistake to go to the Philadelphia Eagles. And I can see right now the Philadelphia Eagles fans hitting the unlike button which is fine. Go ahead. At least I know that you're watching. But I, I will totally admit, I, I did not see this coming. I mean, honestly, I thought, yeah, you're going to have some of the rivals kind of coming and seeing if they can lure uh, Ryan Kerrigan to their team. You know, you're thinking, oh, yeah, Joe Judge and, and the New York Giants, they're going to see if they can get Ryan Kerrigan and or the Dallas Cowboys and, yeah, the Philadelphia Eagles. The only thing I, that really makes sense to me is the fact that, you know, he came from Penn State, so he's he's familiar with the area, I guess. He's familiar with the state. Uh, maybe it's sort of a homecoming for him in, in a sense. I, I, don't know. I don't really know, but just for the simple fact that he's going to be a Philadelphia Eagle, that, that kind of burns my biscuits a little bit. Okay, for, <laughs> for a lot of you who are not from the South, you may not understand what I just said, but just go with me. It just... It burns me up. So Ryan Kerrigan, the Philadelphia Eagle. I, I, I was just, I was prepared. I had this whole video about how I just, you know, I'm going to wish him luck and all of this and talking about how that I hope he retires at, as a Washington football team player and he someday gets put into the, the ring of fame, you know, for the Washington football team. And then I started talking about could he be a future Hall of Famer. But, you know, in all seriousness, I hope he does sign back with the Washington football team before he retires because to me he will always be a Washington football player. You know, he will always be part of the team somewhat. Had he signed with the Eagles, let's say, when he was 30 years old or 31 years old and then he played, let's say, another seven or eight years with the Philadelphia Eagles, then you could kind of see, okay, well, you know, maybe he was never truly a Washington football player, but he has spent the bulk of his career in Washington, and I just think that someday when he does decide to hang up the cleats, he's going to probably retire as a Washington football player, and I hope he does. Now, is it going to be a Hall of Famer? I don't know. I don't know if I can call Ryan Kerrigan a Hall of Famer. He's a great player. Elite, you could argue maybe he is amongst the elite. I mean, certainly, you know, he's a Pro Bowl player for uh, the Washington football team all these years. But is he elite enough to be considered a future Hall of Famer? I don't know. 
I, I, I really don't know. I don't know if he's up there with the likes of guys like Bruce Smith, but I do know that he is a great player, and if someday he is considered Hall of Fame worthy, I hope he gets inducted as a Washington football team player, or whoever we're going to be called at that point. Well, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about this. It was going to be bittersweet anyway, but I kind of saw this coming because obviously the Washington football team had drafted two defensive ends in the draft, which pretty much spelt the end of Ryan Kerrigan being in the Washington football team franchise. I just didn't think that he was actually going to go to an NFC East rivals. So Eagles fans, you go ahead and you eat it up. You just, you talk about how that you've gotten better and we've gotten worse on defense. And I'll just sit back here and continue to laugh at you. <laughs> Cause you know, it's not true. All right, folks. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Let me know what you liked about it. Let me know your thoughts about Ryan Garrigan going to the Eagles. And also, if you really want to support this channel, well, first of all, please consider subscribing. And if you really, really, really want to support this channel, I have created a Patreon page for the Washington Football Maniacs. Please go to the link in the channel's header and click on that link and become a member today. Your help will help me to make this into one of the best channels on YouTube for the Washington football team. That's all I got today. Hell to the Washington football team. Let's go Maniacs. See you in the next one.